Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding. Today, we're going to be writing our first unit test. Unit testing is one of the fundamentals for good software development. Your code should be written such that there are small, independent components that are easy to test. That way, you can easily write comprehensive tests to find and prevent bugs. There are different levels of tests on your code base. Unit tests test the smallest components of your code, like a method or a class, independently to find errors within the components themselves. Integration tests will test how different methods or classes interact together to make sure they are compatible or integrate nicely. The highest level tests are end-to-end -end tests that test the entire flow of your application or data through your application end-to-end. -end. These high-level tests are costly as they usually require simulating user interactions with test versions of your entire application. Today, we're going to write unit tests. Imagine your company needs a function that meets the following requirements. For a given array of n integers, return the index of the minimum element value in the array, or if there are more than one element with that same minimum value, the returned index should be the smallest one. And if the array is empty, we should raise an exception. HackRank has written an example of such a method here. So, to get the minimum index, we first see if the length of the sequence is zero. If it is, we raise an error. Otherwise, we start with the first index, and for all the indexes, we see if the element at that index is less than the element at the minimum index. And if it is, we set the new minimum index to be that index. At the end, we return the index of the element with the minimum value in this array. To test this, HackerInc has written functions to perform the testing and validation of the returned results with the expectations. Your task is to implement the three test cases. So we're going to test it with an empty array, we're going to test it when there is one unique value for the minimum, and when there is exactly two different elements with the same minimum value, and we should return the one with the smaller index. We have to implement the getArray and getExpectedResult method in these classes so that the test methods can properly test the algorithm here to find the minimum index. So this is the algorithm for the minimum index that we're going to test. And here are the three classes for the empty array, the one with the unique values in the array, and one with two different elements with the same minimum value. And here are the tests that HackerInc has written to test for the correctness of the algorithm. So the test for empty array is going to try and get the sequence that we're going to implement in this get array, which is going to be an empty array, and get the result. And since the array is empty, we should return an error, and they're going to capture that error. Otherwise, if they don't capture the error, they're going to assert false, which is going to raise an error and make this method fail. And the next method for testing unique values is going to get our array of unique values and make sure that its length is greater than or equal to 2, and then get the expected result from what we're going to write in our test and compare that to what the algorithm for minimum index returns and assert that they're equal. And the final test is going to test with the case where you have two elements with the same minimum value in the array. And they're going to also get the array from the method we implement, assert that the length is greater than or equal to 2, sort the array, and assert that the smallest values are in the front and equal to make sure that there are two elements with the same minimum value. Then they're going to get the expected result from what we provide, compare it to what the algorithm says the minimum index is, and then compare that they're equal. So, you're going to, so HackerInc is going to call these three different tests and make sure that they all pass, then print OK. If any of the tests fail, the assert method is going to throw an exception, and so we're not going to execute and print OK at the end. So for testing an empty array, we can just return the literal value for an array with no elements. 
Next, we're going to write an array where there are unique values, and we need to find the minimum value there. So we're going to return an array with three, one, and two. So this should return index one. Since one is the minimum value and it's at the first index. Next, we're going to create an array with two different elements with the same minimum value. So we can have an array that has three, and one, and one, and the minimum value is going to be one in this array, and the index with that minimum value is also one. So let's test this. Great. Looks like we passed the test cases. Let's go ahead and submit it. All right, looks like we passed. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Don't forget to fill out the subscriber survey to help give feedback on this channel. The link is in the description below. Also, support me on Patreon so I can continue making more videos for you. Thanks, and I'll see you later.